गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल Are you able to listen my voice? Is voice audible? Are you able to see the screen? Okay, it's well and good. So no issues with our uh, screen and voice, right? No issues, right? If I ask you some questions, kindly reply in the chat box. Mark your attendance using three parameters. Okay, so this is the video lecture on design and analysis of algorithms. We are currently discussing with uh, module two. So module two, that is divide and conquer strategy. So when you are going to divide, when you are going to divide and when you are going to have the no divide strategy. Okay, so in that we are going with a divide and conquer strategy now. So currently we are discussing with a recurrence equation. So till now we have gone, this is the recurrence equation for divide and conquer. So when is the case you are going to have the divide, when you divide the problem, when the problem is big, you are going to divide the problem into sub problems. Okay, there is a problem P of size N. Okay, so that problem is divided into how many sub problems? K sub problems and K sub problems are of size N1 into NK. So now at that time, what is the case you are going to take? So if the problem is small, if the N is small, there is no sub problem. You are going to, you are not going to divide the given problem into N1 into N3. So if N is small, what is the order? It is G of N. If N is big, if n is big, what is the case? You are going to divide the problem into sub problems. How many sub problems? K sub problems. So K sub problems of size N1 into NK. So if it is um, large, so what is the case? You will be having, you will be dividing it into T of N1, T of N2, T of NK plus F of N. Okay. So that is the case what you are going to have here. Understood. So now we have gone with this is the recurrence equation. So this is recurrence equation that you can write it as like this. Okay, under recurrence equation, what you can have? So now keep in your mind a problem. A problem we consider it as instance of size n. Okay, so there it was a problem p of size n. Here we are taking p as instance. Instance of size n is divided into how many instances? B instances. So that means of size n by b. 
So case of problems, here we take it as B instance. So P problem, we take it as instance. Okay, so P problems, we take it as instance of size N and B instances, case of problems is nothing but B instances of size N by B. So N by B can be taken as N is equal to B power K. Okay, so if N is small, that is N equals one, you can't divide. When you can divide, you can divide only when it is greater than one. So because if it is greater than one, that means two. So two can be divided into two by two, but one cannot be divided into two. So minimum strategy for a divide is minimum you should have two, okay? So minimum you should have two here. So for n is equal to one, you can't divide. So what is the answer? It is P of one. If n is greater than one, what is the formula you have? AT n by B plus F of n. So F of n remains same. So A is the constant. T of n1, T of n2, T of n3, T of nk is being taken as T of n by B, where F of n is the function that accounts for time spent on dividing the problem and combining the solution. So it's a f of n is from step one to step four, okay? So he, this is the general substitution what we have taken. A equals to B equals to T of one is equal to two and f of n is equal to n. What you substitute? A T, what is A? Two, two T, n by B, n by, what is B value? Two plus, what is f of n? It is n. Just this is a substitution. What you are going to have it for formula. Okay. So now you confer this particular thing. Recurrence relation when n is power of two. So when n equals one, it is one. When n is greater than one, that means two. What is the case? It is n by two plus c. So this is the general thing you can have. Anything to the power of two. What is the recurrence relation? It is n by two. So can you give the answer for the, this particular example? So A equals to B equals to F of N is equal to CN. So can you, can you give the formula? What is the formula you will be having for example 3.3? So give the answer for example number 3.3. What is the equation you will be having? Give the answer for example 3.3. AT n by B plus F of it. So what you will be having? A is to T n by 2 plus. What is the answer you will be getting? Type in the chat box here. Two T So kindly answer for this particular question. Seventy eight members are there. Answer for this. T of n is equal to, what is A? 2, T, n by B, A, T, n by B. Okay, 2, T, n by 2 plus F of n. What is F of n? F of n is C, n. Okay, so answer is T of n is equal to 2, T, n by 2 plus n, C. That is n, C or you can take it as C, n also. So are you people getting? Are you people getting? Just it is the substitution what you have for the values given. So come for the next thing. Next problem 
So this is the problem what you will be having that we can be discussing the same thing using next uh, upcoming topic that is stress and matrix multiplication. Okay, so they will give you the example, they will give you the values, just you have to substitute and find the order. So just you have to substitute and find the order so that you can see when you go with the next upcoming topic that is stress and matrix multiplication. So now you come for the very, very important topic. So very, very important topic of our uh, divide and conquer strategy, master theorem. So master theorem is very, very important from exam point of view. So this is the extra concept, but you have to keep this one in your mind, okay? So, so what state and prove, they will ask you the question, state and prove master's theorem. So it states that in the recurrence equation, T of n is equal to, what is the formula you have? So formula is AT n by B plus F of n, okay? So if this is the recurrence equation, so if F of n belongs to theta of n D, this is the formula and you, you have to remember this particular thing. If F of n is, belongs to theta of n D, where D is greater than zero, then you have to go with condition. If A is less than B power D, so what is B? So N, N is equal to B power K. Here you can see that what is N is equal to B power K. So now you substitute B power D here. So what is the value you will be having? If A is less than B power D, there will be some condition. If A is equal to B power D, there is some condition. If A is greater than B power D, there is some condition. So you have to keep this one, the master theorem in your mind, okay? So if A is less than B power D, what is the order? It is theta of N power D. If A is less than B power D, it is theta of N power D. If A equals B power D, it is M power D log N to base B. So N power D log N to base B. If A is greater than B power D, it is N log A to base B. So this is the formula you have to remember. So this gives the relation between A and B, okay? So there are two constants, A and B. So what is B? So B sub problems. What is B here? It is the B is the sub problems. What is A? It is a constant. Okay, so if A is less than B power D, it is ND. A equals B power D, it is ND. ND remains same for all. So ND log N to base B. If A is greater than B power D, it is N log A to base B. Okay, so now you come for the example. They will give you the equation. So you have to give the order using master theorem. Okay, they will give the equation is 2a n by 2 plus 1. So for this problem, you can see what is a? a is 2. In place of t, you have a. n by b, what is n remains same. What is b? It is 2 plus what is f of n? It is 1. Okay. So now what is a? It is 1. What is b? a is 2. b is 2. Okay. So what is d? you have to keep in your mind, okay? So A equals B. So what is the D value you will be having? So when they will be same, you have to substitute the D value here, okay? So A equals two, B equals two, and D equals zero. So how you find the D equals zero? Anybody can guess? See here, what is f of n? f of n belongs to theta of n d. What is f of n here? It is one. When you get it as one, anything to the power zero, you will get it as one. Keep in your mind, what is f of n in our answer? f of n is one, okay? So f of n, you are having one. So n value, n anything to the, when you get the value one, so can anybody can answer? 
So you have f of n, f of n is equal to how much? f of n is equal to one. So if f of n is equal to one, n power d. So you can tell n power d is equal to one. Okay. So when n power d is equal to one, when you get the value one, anybody can tell n power d is equal to one when you get the value one. So go for the chat box. I have told you what is f of n for our question. It is one. Okay. So now you substitute one here. One is here. N to the power zero will give you one. One and the barbeco and re. N gay d value n akbeko. For n, you have to put zero. Anything to the power zero will get you one. So that's why we put d is equal to zero. Have you understood? So how you got the value d is equal to zero? So have you understood? How you get? Finally, answer in the chat box. Have you understood? Yes or no? I will tell you again if you didn't understand. So I will tell you again. Kindly remember for the our problem, A is 2, B is 2, and F of N is 1. Okay, so f of n, now you substitute here 1. 1 belongs to n to the power something. So when you will get value 1, anything to the power 0 will get you value 1. Okay, anything to the power 1 will get you the value. Okay, so if 1 bar be n martina, anything to the power 0 will get you 1. So that's why you put d is equal to 0. Now you substitute. Now you tell 2, what is the condition? So 2 is, now you substitute for all the, these things. So if a is less than, 2 is less than 2 power 0, what is 2 power 0? So can anybody can tell what is 2 power 0? 2 to the power 0 is equal to what? 2 to the power 0 is? OK, 2 to the power 0 is 1. Now you substitute 2 less than 1. Condition will. 2 is less than 1. Condition false. So 2 equal to 1. Condition false. 2 greater than 1. Condition true. So 2 is greater than 1. The condition is true. So since A is greater than B power D. Okay. So you have A is greater than B power D. So if A is greater than B power D, what you will put? N log A to base B. So this is the formula you have. N log A to base B. So what is log 2 to base 2? So log 2 to base 2 will go with 1. N to the power 1 is nothing but N. Understanding? So that is the formula. As we have, you have to check with all the conditions here. Okay. So 2 is less than 1. 2 not equal to 1. Condition false. 2 greater than 1. 2 greater than 1 will give you A is greater than B power D. So formula is N log A to base B. So substitute A, substitute B. Log 2 base 2 will go with 1. That is equal to log 2 to base 2 will be value 1. So that is theta of N. This is the order. So this is the order of growth for this particular problem. So. So understood, got this problem? So understood this particular problem?
If you have not understood, kindly tell me. I will explain it again because master theorem compulsory you will get one question. Understood? Kindly replay here. Understood or not? Okay. So now you come for this particular example 3.3. So now you tell, they have given the values. A is equal to 2, B equals 2, F of N is equal to Cn. Okay. So can you find the order of growth? Can you tell what is the condition? For example, 3.3. Can you tell what is the condition? Whether it is A is less than, A equals, or A greater than. Tell the condition using master theorem. So you have A equals to, B equals to, F of N is equal to Cn. Okay. So come for this. A equals to, B equals to, F of N is Cn. Okay, so f of n, it is only c n. Okay, so c n means c you leave, it is n. So n belongs to n power what? So f of n, it is only n. You take it as n. n belongs to n power what? What is the d value? So f of n is n, n belongs to n belongs to d power n power d. Okay, what is d? So f of n it is n. C you leave, c is equal to constant. Okay, so n belongs to n power 0. n power 0 will give 1. If n belongs to 1, no. So n power, n belongs to n only. So n belongs to n. When you get the value n here? When you get the value n here, e jagdali n barbeko. E kade n aitha already. Cn only, f of n no cn. So in that you leave c. N is already there. This part you should get N. So when you will get N, when a D is equal to 1, you will be getting the value N. Okay. So it's well and good. That is D is equal to 1. So come for our problem here. A equals 2, B equals 2, and D equals 1. What is the condition? So now you tell me, tell the condition. I have given the values. What is the condition? A equals 2, B equals 2, D equals 1. I want the answer from uh, some people. A equals 2, B equals 2, D equals 1. Substitute here, you will be getting A, 2, B, 2 to the power, 1. 2 to the power 1 is 2. 2 is less than 2. Condition false. 2 equals to 2. Condition true. So what is the condition? It is A equals B power D. Okay, good. It is A equals B power D. Now you substitute. Okay, so substituting the value. So what you will get? N power 1 log 1. What is N value? So N is N only log n to base 2. So what is the what is the order you will be getting? What is the order? Order of growth I am asking. A equals B. That is okay. It's correct. A equals B. What is the order you get?
so that is equal to theta of n to the power so n to the power what is the d value d value is 1 so log log n to base b log n to base what is b value b value is 2 log n to base b so what is the answer you will be getting n to the power 1 log n to base b b is 2 so what is the value you have what is the final answer can anybody can guess n to the power 1 log log n to base 2 anything log n to base 2 it is log n only because if you have log 1 log 1 to base 2 you can find so log 2 to base 2 you can find but you have log n to base 2 so log n to base 2 is log n only okay so keep in your mind so log log n to base 2 base 2 is equal to log n only so this is the answer so log n to base 2 is equal to log n so n to the power 1 log n so what is the final answer you are getting so it is n log n so what is the order n log n so can you tell which order it is order of the growth you have gone with the order of the growth right so anything it's log n log n i know i have given the answer n log n so if it is uh, one it will be constant if it is n it will be linear n log n so n log n linear arithmetic so it is logarithmic or linear arithmetic you tell the correct answer So it is logarithmic or linear arithmetic. I want the answer for that. You have n log n. So what is the order? It is n log n is the answer. So what you have? Answer correctly, anybody? Some have told n log n, logarithmic, linear arithmetic, logarithmic, only three answers. What is n log n? What is the order of the growth for n log n? So it is linear arithmetic. So what you can tell? It is linear arithmetic or logarithmic? So you keep in your mind log n. Log n, you take it as logarithmic. If it is n log n, you go with the word linear arithmetic. Okay. So log n will go with logarithmic n log n we take it as linear arithmetic that is the answer okay so i have understood understood the master theorem okay so come for this particular uh, example so take this particular example and solve what is d value so for example 3.1 tell d value what is the d value so a equals a t n by b a equals to b equals to so here you have f of n is n n belongs to n power d 
So what is the D value here you have? What is the D value you have for this particular thing? F of n is n. n belongs to, come for this particular thing. n belongs to n power 1 only. n power 1. That is D value is 1. So if that is the case, so A equals to B equals to and D equals 1. What is the condition? What is the condition? So you have A equals 2, B equals 2, D equals 1. Tell the condition. So kindly tell what is the condition. A equals P power D. Okay, when you substitute. So what you will get? N power 1 log log N power 1 log into base 2. So log into base 2 is what is the answer? Log into base 2 is equal to what? log n. So final answer you will be getting the same thing n log n. Okay. So this is the class up to master's theorem. So problems you have gone with. So you have to go with uh, some other problems and you have to solve on master theorem. So have you understood the master theorem? Okay, so this is up to the problems on the master theorem. Some of the problems you have to go through because there are, this is the important concept from exam point of view. Okay, so here I will be this uh, ending this particular session. So any doubts? Any doubts? Any doubts you can ask me. Okay, so I will be ending this particular class now. So thank you all. So this particular lectures will be uploaded in YouTube. You can go through kindly like, share, subscribe for the channel for uploading videos. Okay, thank you all. So. Take care, be safe.